Welcome to Fiddlehead Fiddle Lessons. In this lesson, I'm going to show you how to clean up your sound when playing. All right? You may have noticed that sometimes you're playing and, and you're going from an old note to a new note, and the old note carries over a little bit. So I'm going to help you clean that up, make your playing more precise. Okay, so basically what we do is, is we stop the bow, change what we need to change while the bow is stopped, and move on. All right, I've previously called this exercise um, two different things. Um, one would be stop and rock, and then stop and finger. All right, let's actually start with stop and finger as a, as a way to clean up your fingering, all right, with the bow. So. Um, say you're doing a simple scale like walking up the notes on the D scale on D string, all right? The way you would do this exercise is you'd play a down bow on D, full stop of the bow, then carefully place D1, stop the bow, place D2, stop the bow, place D3. That is the exercise in a nutshell. Simple, but if you know, not a lot of people have the patience to do it. If you really take this exercise to heart, your playing will be more precise. You'll have a cleaner sound, okay? So um, you can practice it on your scales, and be, well, I'll do it again. Down bow on D, full stop, place D1, full stop, place D2, and full stop, then place D3. This gives your fingers, your left hand fingers, time to really feel where they have to go, figure out, and just learn what they're doing. Same thing with your arm. And then after you've done that very meticulous stop and finger exercise, just, just let it go. Just, just let the bow flow now. Don't do the stop. Just go up and down a little bit. Do that a little bit more, then return to the exercise. So this alternation between the stop and finger and then just kind of flow play will help you kind of learn, help your, you know, your arms and fingers are learning too, as well as your ear and your mind. Okay, so this is a, just an amazing, powerful exercise. You can also do it on tunes. So say like um, uh, Arkansas Travelers, the beginning's giving you trouble. Or let's say the you're having trouble with that, you can do it with stop and finger. And then you're like, okay, let's try that again. And then without that. All right. So then there's another way to do this very simple but powerful rudimentary exercise and that's practice rocking the bow with it. I call it stop and rock. Say we go down on D, full stop, and then up on A after rocking it. Full stop, carefully rock back to D. The slower you do this change, the better. Most students rush through this. And it takes a little bit of patience, but it'll be worth it. And then after we do that for a while, go back to just playing it, try to just play and get in the groove with it without stopping. I think that's a good part of the exercise because it just kind of provides you some relief and it's more just like, just play a little music, okay? relax a little bit, and then go back to the meticulous work you have to do in order to learn this instrument. Finally, there's parts you can do which combine both of them. Like say you're walking down the D scale from open A to D3. Often that change from open A to D3 is very hard for beginning students. Open A, so you can do it there. So we're just going to go open A to D3 in a loop. But let's try it with the stop and change. So we'll both be doing stop and finger, stop and rock. So we're going to go down on A, carefully rock, place the D3, then go up. 
Lift to D3, carefully rock back to A. Then place D3, rock to D3. That is the way to practice that. You will get that if you can, uh, if you actually take a little bit of time to do it. You can practice with other um, fingerings across the, you know, on a different string, cross string things like A1 to D2, say. And I recommend doing it both with holding fingers down, but also lifting them. Because that may happen, you may need to find that note. All right, so that is the technique in a nutshell. You can do it with two notes. You can do it up a scale. And you can do it on little bits of tunes. All right, so glad you made it to the end. I think this was a useful little tip let me know how it goes. Maybe you'll have some feedback and then it'll help me make a new, new lesson about this kind of thing. So long. See you next time on Fiddlehead. Thanks for watching the video. Excellent.